Hi, our homework eight, question six. This is uh, quite a quite a difficult one to read here. Um, what I would do is I'd uh, freeze the video and read the question if you don't have that in front of you. Okay. On looking at the question there, what I can see is it uh, looks like a recurrence relation question, and in particular it looks like a, a limit question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and gather the information that I can see, and what I'll do is I'll uh, try and put that together. So the tea stain inside of uh, the bottom of Granny's teapot is 250 units thick. So I think that's where I'm going to start. So I'm thinking that U0 is going to be equal to 250. So that's going to be my starting point. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to be looking at a recurrence relation, which will be UN plus 1 is going to be equal to. And I can see here that uh, on each wash of the dish, using the dishwasher, it removes half of whatever thickness of stain there is. Well, really it's not what it removes, but what it leaves behind that I'm interested in. And if half uh, is removed, half's left. Okay, so from here, I'm going to have 0 0.5 just written as a decimal. That's then going to be multiplied by UN. And what I'm looking for is each time Granny makes a, a pot of tea, the stain becomes 25 units thicker. Okay, and she only washes it once. So what we'll go for is here, we'll be adding on 25. So that looks like my recurrence relation and my starting point there, my U0 point. Okay, so what will the, the thickness of the stain eventually be? Kind of looks like a limit question to me. So what I'm going to go for is I'm going to say that um, a limit exists. And that's because, or since, we've got this number here lies in between minus 1 and 1. And what we'll just say is I'll let L be the limit. And what we'll do is I'll use L in my calculations from here on. Right, so, so when I work out a limit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the, the UN plus 1 and the UN with L. Okay? Because these numbers are getting really so close together, so they're almost the same. Right, what I'll do is I'm going to take this part here over to the other side. So I've got L minus 0.5 L over the other side of the equal sign. And that's plus, sorry, equals 25. That's 25 left on the right hand side. Remember that's 1L, 1L take away half L leaves me with half L here. To work this out, all I'll do is I'll divide 25 by a half, and if I can work that through, I should find out my limit is going to be equal to 50, 50 units. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll just state, you know, what that is. So put it into context, so the thickness of the stain on Granny's Granny's teapot will tend towards 50 units and that's me done with that question right then let's see the marking for it so what we'll go for is, we'll go for a mark for getting the recurrence relation. What I'd like to look at here is getting the whole thing here. Okay, that would be the, the first mark. The next mark that I'll get will be for stating that a limit exists. Okay, so mainly just a limit exists and also showing that uh, the uh, 0 0.5 lies in between minus 1 and 1. And another mark for getting the, the limit, so working that through. You could also use the, the other formula for it. Um, I usually just substitute L in just to, to work that through. And finally, I'd like one mark for making a statement that puts the question into context. So looking at that one there, looks like format question.